Ah, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today's video is about how to use this. Fencing strainers. Hang around, you might learn something. These are the typical types of strainers that you can buy. One thing I don't like about this particular set of strainers, this cam that holds the wire, it would be much better if this piece that held the wire was a lot wider and deeper. And I notice on some of the cheaper strainers, that's a lot better there. So when you go to buy strainers, make sure there's plenty of room in there for the big number eight wire, which is about four millimetres. I've got in the habit of always oiling all the parts on the strainers before I use them. And th this is just a little bit of chainsaw oil in a cap. In particular, this bit that goes around this swivel, make sure that it's oiled, otherwise it will give you trouble later on. If that gets rusty and tight, it always leads to trouble. You don't need much oil, just make sure everything moves properly. It'll just make life that much easier for you. Here we've got a situation where the wire's all loose. This is all down on the ground and needs fixing up. The top wire is nice and tight, but this one's obviously really loose. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a, a new piece of plain wire around the post to tie off onto. On your left hand side as you face the fence, hook this part of your strainers on and have enough wire left that you can do a tie up here. Hook your strainers onto your piece of chain for the other end of your strainers and take, your, take the end of your strainers down to the piece of wire you are going to strain. Hook it on there like that, pull it tight. Now you should have something that looks like this. Then you put the hooks in your strainers on each link. So as you pull the handle back, it will put more tension on the wire and you hook the hook in the next link, like so. Now that's very tight, or fairly tight. So you'll see now this wire starting to go slack. I don't want to strain the fence that much that I start to pull the headworks out of the ground. I'm going to leave it there, where the top wire is still tight. You can see that the wire is on the back side of this holder and it's really not where I want it. I want it around this side. This is where having this swivel lubricator comes in. You could have left that twisted around it with half a twist, but if you want a really good job, it's not desirable. Here we've got the piece of wire we're gonna to wanna to tie onto this one. Find a point when you pull it nice and tight that is just beside where that is there and put a kink in your wire so that it looks like that. Then cut, cut your wire off that you're straining with enough left here for a decent tie. Then twist up a loop in your wire that you are trying to strain, like so. Then pull your piece of plain wire up. Put that through there. Hold the handle of your strainers, put that around there like that, and twist up your piece of plain wire. So we are now ready to take the pressure off the strainers, and all we do is move the handle that way, 
and then go like so and the strainers will come off. Now you can see there, nice and tight, really good. Well, there you go. If you've got any questions about wire strainers or anything else about the farm, just leave me a question in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you later.